Hello guys, uh, what's up? This is a Master Gamer and um, I'm sort of coming at you with a new segment, you know, that I updated on my blog about today. Um, it's called, um, I'm going to be venting my thoughts. Um, a little heads up before um, I get started on this whole venting uh, video. Um, you guys can see, you know, I got some Borderlands footage on just me and some a random mobby playing a random game with random people. Um, another thing, um, but once I also wanted to say was, uh, for certain people, don't take this offensive. This is just me just being inventing. I wanted to get this out. For some people, you may understand where I'm coming from and why I'm probably going through this whole venting thing. But for those that, uh, that, 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 you know, were supportive and stuff like that during this whole venting session, uh, don't take it too personal. This is just me thinking out, out loud. And this is how me, um, how I feel so far of, um, what's been going on. Um, but, I guess you're wondering what I'm talking about, so um, let's get to work. Um, what I'm actually talking about is just, you know, my YouTube channel in general. Uh, when I sit back and sit up and think, you know, commentator, I, I looked up commentator. Commentator is a person, you know, that gives commentary uh, on a video or gives one of their thoughts about the, a topic that they're making it about. And when I sit up and think about it, uh, that looking at it is that when you do video game footage it's just like an added bonus you know video game the video game footage is pretty much there to keep the fan sort of amused while they're listening to the commentator sort of like a beat to a song like you know you're the while you're also listening to the lyrics you you got a good you got a good beat going and you know you get into the groove of things while you know listen to the singer singing but when i sit up and think about it is uh, you know, my I, I don't have the best, you know, graphics card in the world. Um, and recently, you know, a guy came on my channel saying, you know, my quality sucks and stuff like that. And I'm looking like, well, I don't, well, at the moment, you know, I'm trying to currently get a job. And I don't have all that money, you know, for HTPVR. You know, I thought I was going to get one soon, but, you, you know, s stuff is happening. Stuff is coming up. Other important responsibilities, such as school and stuff, is happening. So I begin to sit up and think is that, is it really is it really just the quality of the gameplay that would really just what gets views you know i'm starting to think it's not so much of the commentator anymore it doesn't really feel like nothing of the commentator hardly anymore I, you probably guys heard me speak about this before um at the beginning of this whole entire series you know um well not the entire series but the whole point of my youtube channel kind of go you know when i was talking about you know pretty much cod gets views and cod does get views but as i sit up and look around it is basically just about the content of your videos, not really so much of the content of the, what the, the commentator has to say. Now, now, there is some people, you know, some subscribers that sit up and, you know, actually listen to what their commentators that they subscribe to saying they can actually relate and have a good time listening to them. But what I really see is the so just is to me is that unless you got like a, a kick butt HD capture card that you know shows went off of everybody um, in the freaking game it that's what pretty much gets you views overall by the end of the day it depends on what the quality of that looks like for and i'm and the way i'm thinking is like i'm a commentator you know the the most important thing of the video is the commentary is pretty much less of what the gameplay is and i'm and that's what i starting to start to feel like it's like you know i can understand you know people saying well you know you have to network you, you gotta talk to other commentators and you know see what they can do do for you, see if they can help you out. Yeah, I've been doing that, but you know when I sit up and look on my Twitter feeds and stuff like that, uh, I see you know other commentators conversing with each other. You know they they basically like, hey, hey dude, you want to come do a dual con with me? And you're like, yeah, I can do a dual con with you. You know it can help out your channel. I can understand you want to do that, but sometimes you know I feel so like left out. Like everybody knows I'm trying to you know get this channel basically trying to up the level. With, with the things that I have now, some of you guys out there can understand, you know, the whole story with it, uh, me working with what I'm working with, but it sort of feel like I'm just, just cut out of the loop, like I'm just some guy out now I feel that recording when every time he records, and, you know, and, and then he doesn't have the best capture card in the world, then, you know, he don't have as many subscribers as I do, and it sort of feels like, that's what it sort of, that's what it sort of feels like, like, it's just like, you know, my channel ain't as big as some of these other channels like Game Ethos or Most Dev 121, you know, I'm happy, you know, that, you know, they're out there making their stuff big, stuff like that, but, you know, it sort of feels like I'm just being left out here in the outfield, you know, I just sit up and look like, oh, wait, 
Like most death, you know, you wanna do a dual con with me or game deep though, wanna do a dual con with me. Like today I just saw them both. Um, you know, I'm happy that, you know, another dude made a whole entire video about them. But it sort of feel like, wow, what about the other commentators that, you know, that support them too? Does stuff, you know, it just it just sort of feels less invigorating and just, you know, feels like I'm just beating my head against the wall. It's like I keep, you know, posting content, posting content, and then I keep talking about it on Twitter. It's like sometimes I feel like I shouldn't have to, you know, always have to tag, you know, Game and Ethos or, you know, Most Def 121 or pretty much anybody. I sort of feel like I shouldn't. It's, to me, that sort of feels like it's repetitive and it sort of sounds like I'm desperate. If I got to keep tagging them every time I upload something just to get it retweeted or just to get it out there, it's like, it's, it's sort of, I sort of feel like if I put it out on the tweet, you know, somebody should, you know, at least retweet it by themselves without me saying anything or pay some attention or go to the actual link and comment. That's another thing. It's like all these videos I keep putting out here, I'm not getting no comments whatsoever. I'm not getting no feedback. The only time I got some feedback was a, a freaking spammer, and he was just being an idiot. But other than that, I'm looking out back at all my videos that I ever posted, and they're, they're empty. I, I don't know what anybody's thinking. I don't, nobody doesn't come to me on Twitter and say nothing. I'm, I'm starting to think, what was the point of me putting up this blog today? Because, you know, I just put that up today and announced it everywhere. And nobody has to put no comments on what they thought of, of the upcoming things that I thought on there. You know, it's just, it's, it sort of feel like, it's not like I'm going to quit like now. But it's sort of, I can see why other commentators, the game commentators that come out here just stop. Because it's like the dog drums. If you understand what the dog drums is, it's basically you know, when a ship is out in the middle of the sea, there's no wind, and, and it's a dead stop. You can't go nowhere. And I can say this is like a commentator dog drums. You don't have, you don't, you barely have any subscribers. You barely have any viewers coming in. You, you barely trying to get any type of, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, you're barely trying. You're barely not even getting any buzz on your social feed. And it's like as much as you keep on doing, you know, as much as you keep on trying to raise that sail, you know, there's no wind coming. And like I'm trying to say, there's no wind coming into my channel whatsoever. There's no wind hardly coming into my Twitter feed. You know, I'm happy for the people. I, 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 I so support for the people, you know, that always kept, you know, coming to check on or see what I did and stuff. But it's like, you know, as much as, as long as I've been out here, uh, nothing has pretty much changed. It's like the only... The only thing that's changed on my subscriber account is like I lost two subscribers, and like I, you know, said to people, you know, the reason why I couldn't record during that rest of the fall semester because you know I had school, but I'm back now and I'm trying to do this and that, and I'm not getting no buzz nowhere. It's like I'm, I'm trying as I'm trying my hardest right now to try to get, you know, other commentators, you know, to come and try to help me, but it's like. At the same time, when you look at other commentators, and, and when other commentators see other commentators struggling, you know, it's, it, does it, would it really kill you that much to come out and say, well, hey, you know, I see that your, your, your channel is struggling, you want to do a dual con with me, you know, you, we can help each other out. It sort of feel like when, when you get out here, it's every every man for them fucking selves for most of the time. Not going to say that's all the time, you know, you have some people out here that, that's willing to help you, but really it's sort of like every man for them fucking selves. Unless, unless you make a good COD video, which that's what it seems like, but I'm not going to get into that. But just a good video on quality of the best type of fucking graphics card ever. And, and you a bet, and you a good ass fucking commentator. Well, well, let me rephrase that. You can have the most shittiest capture card ever, but the commentator can be good as hell. And they still won't get it. Still won't get no love. But you could be a shit commentator with the best damn HD capture card. And you get views right out the ass. You know, it, that, that's one thing I don't get. But then you got, you know, you might have some commentators that's lucky to have, you know, you know, what the the real good capture card there, a good commentator, and then with that you get a little people that love the actual commentator. But really, the rest is just all the people that just love the damn gameplay. And you know, it's sad because I'm sitting up here doing this like 24/7. I'm sitting up here slaving, slaving over thinking of ideas and shit. And then I just come sometimes and just sometimes just sit down and think. Do, do people really actually do fucking listen to me? Whatsoever. Am I just the guy, you know, when they, when somebody fucking retweets me on their fucking timeline, they just take one look at the, um, fucking open the screen, and, you know, they see that the, the quality ain't the best in the world. It ain't, you know, no, a freaking, uh, 
2020 uh, freaking, you know, graphics, you know, you, it's not totally HD. Did they just sit up and just take one fucking look at it and then just close the damn link because it wasn't a fucking eye catcher? They didn't even take the time out to listen to it. I'm still looking at my views from views from fucking videos from that I posted like this list last summer back in 012. And they barely got any views. Like, they're still, still stuck at 23 from the day I posted them. So that really makes me think, this, is anybody out there looking at this shit? And, and hardly some of the other people that I told about and had them come look at it. it you, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. And it sort of, you know, hurts my feelings sometimes. Because that sort of sort of shows me what people is actually looking for. People, are, so, to me, that's really actually looking for is personally a commentator that has a good-ass fucking HD capture card. And it shouldn't be like that. A commentator is like what a commentator is. A commentator talks about whatever topic they want to discuss or whatever they feel that they should have to discuss. It's not about the damn HD capture card all about the fucking time and shit. But, yeah, but you know, you can't tell people that shit. And then another thing is what I don't get about with most commentators is it's like when, when other commentators like, okay, I'm not the best graphic designer in the world. I, I don't know how to use Photoshop and shit. I really don't. I tried to get into it. I tried to, you know, try to learn it. It's, it's not clicking to me. Is it really that difficult for other fucking commentators, you know, just out of the good of their hearts to come out and say, well, dude, I see that you're struggling trying to learn how to use Photoshop. Let me hook you up. I'll hook you up with a background just in exchange, you know, just for just to help you out, just to help you get started with all your shit and stuff. I'll give you a helping hand. Is it that fucking hard to do? Is it really? Is it really is? Is it really that hard to extend the fucking hand out and say, you know what, I'll do it. If I if I learned how to do all that shit, like. No offense, Game of Ethos. But if I learn how to do all that stuff like the Game of Ethos and, and most depth can do on their freaking computer, hell yeah, I would be out there trying to help everybody. Because, you know, not everybody can do this shit. Not everybody has the fucking resources and money to go out and buy Photoshop and do all this thing. And not everybody knows how to use Photoshop. Yeah, you got YouTube videos that show you how to do certain things in Photoshop, but they don't really show you, like, the, the just core basis of Photoshop, like, how they're able to just cut out pictures and put it into the screen and do that and that. Now, I can understand some commentators want to sit up and do, well, if you uh, do such and such and such and such with this, maybe I'll make the next, you know, background or what they want to call a new title outward with this whole fucking to change and shit. I can understand you want to do that, but it's like at the same time, why do you have to turn it into a damn contest? It's like, can't you just do it out of the goodness of your damn heart for some of them people out there that's trying to get something looking good on their damn channel because they already having enough trouble as it is, like me, with, with video, getting video reviews. Is that already enough trouble as it is already? But then, by throwing that in face, it sort of makes it feel like, well, I'm, I'm not the best when it comes to commentators. I'm not, I don't have all these subscribers, I, I'm not worth working with for a deck here, but then you throw a con contest in the face, it's like, why can't you just help me out, you know, we all in the same boat, it's like, really, what, what are we all really competing for, R really nothing, we're really not competing for nothing, but we all doing the same damn job, but we can't really help out one another. Now, not, not just to say that, you know, there are some people out there that's willing to help, you know, some commentator do some stuff like that. But it's like, well, from what I've been seeing, nobody don't want to help any shit. Yeah, I'm looking on Twitter feed. Sometimes I wish somebody would just, you know, hit an ad at me in freaking Twitter say, Hey, what's up, Master Gamer? Did you know, did you see this, 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 this? Or how do you feel about this, this, that? I don't hardly get shit. But it's always me that has to start off the damn conversation with a damn tagline. You know, it just feels like I'm just, sort of feels like, like I'm just a guy that's just sitting there while everybody else is having their own conversation and they pay no attention to me. I'm just another fly on the wall. You know, it's just when I just sit up there and look, and look over my stuff, nobody don't hardly have shit to say to me. Nobody hardly has no fucking suggestions. If I want suggestions, I have to go out and give them. What's, I understand, you know, if you want to under, if you want to understand something, you have to go out and get it yourself. But as much as, as big as this damn community is, you think you'll get a whole bunch of other feedback from other people or get included in other shit that other people's doing. And I don't seem like the fucking case. I can understand, yeah, you have to go out and ask them, but, you know, I'm doing a hundred, everybody's doing a hundred, hundred other 50 million things out here every day. Everybody can't always walk in multi-tech. 
will it really kill you that much to go out and ask like, well, dude, you, you know, I see, see you trying to get some buzz, or I see you getting some buzz, my channel's trying to get some buzz, maybe we can do a dual commentary on this one thing, or a, give a group opinion about it, do you want to be joined in it? That's what some, you know, I and a lot of other commentators just want to have. You know, just be able to just be included into one of y'all guys' discussions or in a video somewhere. It's like, you know, I shouldn't always feel like that. I have to always got to go ask another commentator for a shout-out. It's like, can't just somebody just do it out of the, out of the fucking kindness of their heart? Like, I used to do that back during the summertime and over the course going into the fall semester. You know, I would just go and type in, you know, and shout-out other random channels that was up coming and starting. They didn't ask me to do it. I did it out of kindness of my heart, not out of my time. But it sort of feels like it's many people in this commentators trying to say that, you know, we all want to look out for one another. It don't really seem like that. If not, if I got to go and ask you for a shout out, and then hopefully that you remember by the time you make the video in the commentary that you actually give me a shout out. But if you're going to give me a shout out, make it look good. Don't just sit up and say my name saying like, oh, this is Master Gamer 2345. He does some GO3 videos. Uh, here's when we get the bottom. You know, do a little bit more. Like, actually show some footage. Like, ask for some footage from the person. Like, seriously. Like, say, hey, dude, can I see some of your footage so I can make a segment in my videos trying to help give your channel some blood? Now, I know that that it all still depends on the people whether or not they're going to click on your channel or something like or stuff like that. But still, at the end of the day, that shows you that you're being a good damn commentator, that you're not just looking out for yourself out here, that you're also looking out for the little guy. Because there's a lot of fucking little guys, and I can understand why these little guys sit up and quit about five, six months in. Because shit don't change. Despite all the work and shit they put into, shit still doesn't change. Shit still always stays the same. You can be working hard, steering this shit blue in the face, and it still don't fucking change. And all we just looking for is just for a little fucking helping hand. That's all we all just asking for. Now, I can understand some people that's been out here since 07. They work, they strive, but back during 07, gaming walkthroughs was like the bring of the, bring of the, bring of the history. You know, barely anybody was doing it, and if you was back doing 07, you know, you got signed by Machinima, like, right off the fucking bat. But it's like, if you are, are a person that's, you know, that's in a partnership with somebody, and you know somebody is a good commentator that's been working their ass off, would it kill you to, you know, go to your whoever you're partnering with and say, well, I got another good commentator for you, maybe you should check them out, listen to them, they, they talk about some real shit. Does that ever, does, does that really ever, you know, stomp on people? You know, does it well, does it really hurt that much? Do do what I'm trying to say is, would it really hurt that much of your reputation with that partnership if you went to them and said, well, you know, this commentator, I think he's awesome. He does good. You know, his gameplay, he 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 shows some good gameplay, even though he don't have the best capture card, but still, he does some great topics and he talks about some real shit that people, I think, people can really connect to. Just, is it really that hard to go to your partner or whoever you're partnered with to go and tell them that about this one commentator that you think is really good? You know, and just, that's just how I feel about it. That's what I'm seeing. That's all I am always seeing. And just from looking at Twitter, looking at, well, I can't really say Facebook because I don't really use Facebook like that anymore. But that's what I'm looking at from Twitter and from all these YouTube videos, like over the past six months, I've seen a whole bunch of other friends of mine, other commentators that I know, you know, they already doing dual comms, and I'm like, what about Master Game? I've been sitting here too, you know, I, I can't always keep going around asking for handouts, and I'm saying that sound a little bit too desperate, but still, you know, can't you all just come to come to me or come to another guy that's, you know, that's been struggling a little bit, saying, hey, you want to do a dual comm, maybe it'll help you some, I, you know, we can always give it a try. But you know that's that's how I feel about it. You know, you you know some people may disagree, but you know don't take it too personal. It's just something you know for you to think about next time when you're making your next video. How can I help the other guy? But you know this is Master Gamer. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this venting session. I'm gonna have a lot more of these venting sessions because you know sometimes when I'm just making videos, I just sit up and think about this shit. But you know, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, peace out there. Peace. Peace out, guys. <laughs>